My name is Maureen Stanko, and I'm the creator and director of So Much to Give. I have a son who is 19 years old, Nicholas. He has autism, and he is about to age out of the school system in July of 2023. And one of the reasons that So Much to Give came into my mind was because I'm aware that there are at least 20,000 young adults with autism who have nowhere to go when they turn 21 in Pennsylvania alone. So Much to Give holds monthly social skills groups, and they are in Trap in the Empowering You Center with Pillars of Light and Love, and it's a great opportunity for parents to show up with their young adults and for the young adults to mingle with one another, play games, do puzzles, and also to do a craft, and that craft item gets mailed to homebound people in the community or given to people in the community to make other people happy. And what I love is that when these items are being produced, our young adults know that they're doing this to make other people feel happy. Hi, my name is Justin, and Mrs. Stenko is cool and awesome. I like going to the center for so much to give. I like making the heart for Valentine's Day. I like spending time with my friends. I like doing music with Miss Danko. Hi, my name's Lisa, and this is my son. Trevor. And he is 21 years old, and we are now part of So Much To Give. Mm -hmm. And Trevor loves going to the So Much To Give events. What do you like to do there? You like to see your... Friend. Yes. Trevor really wants to hang out with friends and So Much To Give has been a great opportunity for him to be able to relax in an environment where he's not judged. Um, he can walk around, do what he wants, socialize, play games. It's been a really great experience for us. Hi, I'm Kim Mears and this is... DJ John. John is in the school district right now, but he will age out of the school district supports and programs in about two years. With that comes concern and a lot of responsibility about future options and how we can help John live a successful life. So Much to Give will help open doors for neurodiverse adults, and we are looking forward to supporting them in this venture. Some friends and I came up with an idea to have an inclusive cafe that would employ those with disabilities during the restaurant hours. The plan would be for me as a certified health coach to work with young adults like my son, Nicholas, who really wouldn't be eligible to be in the workforce. We would be able to work at the restaurant on off hours, doing prep cooking, doing um, baking, rolling silverware, and doing all kinds of behind the scenes types of activities that would still be con contributing to the entire restaurant cause. This way, all kinds of adults with disabilities would be able to contribute because they all have so much to give. An inclusive cafe would be wonderful because my son loves to get up and socialize with all the other diners and knowing that he can do this freely and not be judged and have a great time because other people are there wanting to do that too. At our inclusive cafe, we plan to be able to accommodate all kinds of different dietary restrictions for families like mine so that we can safely go out and know that our child can consume what is going to be served to them. So we have this incredible idea and the only glitch at this point is that we need a startup fund because we can't get grants until we actually start the program because we have to show that we're really doing this, but we can't really do this until we have the funds. So what we're doing at this point is we're taking pledges. And if you are able to help out, we're not collecting the money right away, but if you feel like supporting and are able to support, we are taking pledges at so much to give.org. I think an inclusive cafe would be amazing in this neighborhood. Um, just having a place where Trevor can go and be himself. And one of the things that he loves to do is go out to eat. But when we go out to eat, he also likes to get up and dance. 
Um, and so this would be really great for him to be able to just get up and do what he wants and sing and dance and make everyone around him happy. So um, it would really be great to have an inclusive cafe around where we could eat and enjoy a meal and, and dance while we're eating. That's a great idea. All of us in this world have so much to give. And by working together, I just know we can make a difference for families with special needs.